Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. We start with a letter today, so we're gonna kind of skip into that because there's not, there's not a lot for me to say in the intro. It's Two Point Hospital, it's part 10. Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm all right, to be honest, my throat's a little bit sore. I've been sipping a cup of tea for the last half hour because I decided at 7.30 in the morning it would be a great idea to try and do some Linkin Park vocals. You've probably heard me say that before if you've been in the channel for a while. I'm still trying. Dear hospital administrator, hey, how you doing? What if I told you you could travel through space and time for a highly competitive price? Uh, now you're saying, what's the catch? Am I right or am I right? Well, that's the best part, my friend. Uh, no catch, no consequences, no questions asked. I'm Captain Yesterday. Inventor, entrepreneur, and all-round family man. Presenting you, the Yesterizer. Bad pending. Your one-stop shop for all things today, tomorrow, and yesterday. I'm offering you a one-time only, once-in-a-lifetime, not even for my mother, 100% discount on a journey through time. You see, ever since I started rolling these things out, We'd have a few, uh, complications, shall we say. We're talking sick people flying out of holes in the ground. Uh, far from ideal, I'm sure you'd agree. If you, uh, take care of them, and I keep selling time machines, well, bingo bango, we're back in business. And, uh, hey, if all goes to plan, I'll even sell you your own Yesterizer. Pretty neat, huh? Anyway, previously yours, Captain Yesterday. Also, dear hospital administrator, your organization shows great promise. We have been chosen to take part in the Bungle Superbug Initiative. Congratulations. The Superbug Initiative was founded with the intention of connecting the finest minds in the county in order to tackle our most pressing medical concerns. Since then, Superbug has transformed into the premier interface for all forms of research and technology. You've been given access to the Superbug Network. When you're ready, dive headfirst into the exciting world of collaborative research. Oh my god. Oh my god. Huh. Are you ever sitting there at work or at home realize that you're cold? Yep. What's the deal with that? Personally, I wanted to stop. Radiators, try as they may, just aren't up to the tack, task. And that's why we need something new. Something warmer. Sometimes I get too hot and that's, if anything, just as bad. I'm proposing we develop a solution for annoying, unideal temperatures by doing a shed load of research. Have at it. Okay. Collaborate with other organizations and special research projects to discover technology and receive rewards. Start a project, hair removal. I think we'll go with the project of ice and fire, right? Project completed. Oh God, what is this? I don't know what this is. I, I, it's all done. I think. It's kind of difficult to, to know. So I've got an ice fountain, a fire fountain. Is that, is that it? Is that all I needed to know? What is, what is, what is, oh my God. Okay. Oh, it's a thing with friends. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Okay, all right. I will pay attention to this. I'm just not going to do it in a video because this this seems like a lot of like a lot of menus and things like that. Good. There's no more letters. I just wanted to continue Mitten University today. That's it. But then I've also got this thing. We've got a we've got Clockwise Upon Time, which is a medieval town plagued by ruptures in space and time. That sounds amazing. But I also really want to get three stars in Mitten University, so it's gotta be. I've also, I think, got some challenges or something. I do. Okay. I I want to do the time travel thing, man, but I can't. We. Oh, let's get this done. Let's get this, just let's let's just get it done. We need to generate more research, cure a hundred patients, and have a good cure rate. Now the cure rate right now is pretty terrible, so we do need to do something about that. And what I'm thinking we can maybe look into doing here is getting ourselves another chunk of hospital. Also, reward season. Am I am I good? We've had a lot of deaths recently. We're we're okay. We're we're doing all right. I I do think another chunk of hospital is going to be needed though. So let's get this one. It's fifty thousand, and we're having some issues. So what I want to do is I want to copy this chromotherapy. We're going to swing it around. We're going to put it... Oh, Okay, well, chromotherapy can go... Here? 
and then we'll move you to there. We'll move the door to there, and that'll be fine. So that's that's gonna be chromotherapy, which can live there, and that needs a nurse. So let's go ahead and hire another nurse, as we have been doing. We'll get Jess and Leotard. You can work in there. We're gonna set you up the way we always do. And uh, yeah, you are just going, oh, there's so many things you can do. So we probably don't want anybody working in the uh, injection rooms or fluid analysis because we don't have that right now. Uh, so Jess is gonna be clown clinic and chromotherapy. And that's fine. Catherine Benafi, we kind of do need to train you to get you good at working in a pharmacy. You're the only pharmacist that we have and we probably want more. But that's fine. We don't have any available training rooms either, so we'll not worry too much about that. Although, maybe we should. Maybe another couple of training rooms wouldn't be such a bad idea. So putting one like there and saying, okay, and then what about we put another one? We could get away with smaller training rooms, but I'm, I'm going to go with a few of them. What if we go ahead back into staff? We go to nurses. We go to Jess. And we say that we do, you know, we want to train you in treatment, right? We'll get this trainer to do it, so that's fine. And then what we also need is Karen Benafi, who is working in the, yeah, the pharmacy. So, Karen, you need to be trained in pharmacy management, and we'll get a guest in to do that one. So, there we go. So, that should be fine. We do need an injection room. We're not going to get it yet. Uh, we'll send you home, we'll promote you, and that'll be a start, is what it'll be. We are going to be working with a relatively cramped space here, I think. And I'm hoping that's going to be okay, because my theory is that we're going to be basically putting just a bunch of treatment rooms over here. That's, that's kind of what I want to do. So hopefully that works out. I... I don't really... well... I'll tell you what else we can do. Copy this guy, and we'll put a little staff room right there, because I think that's going to be important. And we'll grab another toilet, and we'll put a toilet right here. And that'll give us space for a three by four room down here. So that'll that'll be okay. And that'll hopefully work out for us. Uh, we do need some people working in chromotherapy, and I realize I might have messed up here. I, I might... I might have messed up because we don't we don't have a nurse working here. Oh, well, we do. We have Kevin. Kevin's on his way. Okay, so Kevin's on his way to work in chromotherapy. There's no one down here to work that one, so that's going to be a bit rough. But we'll manage. I mean, we won't. We have one cured, no failed, and six still in progress with like 15 days to go. So that's pretty bad. But we'll manage. We'll we'll probably manage. So I've gone ahead and built two general diagnosis rooms here because I think it's probably going to be a relatively good idea. And I'm thinking we'll get Beryl Digestive to work in that one. And we'll get Harry Gunge. Harry Gunge can work in that one. And we'll get them both trained up on that as well. So Beryl and Harry are going to be, need to, uh, going to be trained in diagnostics. So where are we looking? Beryl and Harry. We'll have you trained by Gregory Mouse. We'll start that training. We are going a little bit broke right now, but we'll we'll manage. And uh, in terms of jobs, it'd be nice if I could like easily click to turn all of these off, but I can't, so whatever. We'll do that. And you two are gonna be set up for general diagnosis. And that should keep things okay, hopefully. And I guess what we can also do here is start to put in some benches and things like that. So let's do a radiator right about there and let's do a radiator there and that makes that hallway relatively warm uh we're gonna want one for the staff room too i didn't realize i didn't have one in here so right about there and right about uh there as well and now that's the staff rooms kind of sorted so now what we kind of need is uh is benches so let's do just a bunch of benches the whole way down this uh hallway and give people places to sit so that they're not going to be complaining about having to stand while waiting to see the doctor because that would be that really would be kind of miserable wouldn't it you know you're you go into a hospital you're like doctor i don't feel so good it's like, okay fella well um 
yeah, you're gonna have to, um, you're gonna, you're gonna have to, uh, have to stand around for a bit. Is, uh, is what you're gonna do. I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing, um, what's, what, what mobile, what mobile games do people play today? A flappy birds, angry flapper. I'm not, I'm not old enough to get away with that joke, am I? Uh, I genuinely don't know any mobile games though, so I'm, you know, there you go. There's, there's, there's a thing. I actually, I genuinely, genuinely do not know much about mobile gaming. I don't really follow it. I don't really care for it. Uh, so that the, there was some truth to that, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let's let's run the hospital. Uh, you need trained general practice. Can we get a couple of people trained in general practice too? We do have a few that can do it. Okay. So have you all trained up? We will have one of our own doctors do it, which is maybe a terrible idea because it's going to slow things down, but. I'm sure we'll manage. Uh, injection room required. We're going to send you home because we don't have it right now. But that'll be all right. We'll get one eventually is uh, is what we'll do. Let's just go ahead and speed things up and see if we can't maybe just deal with a lot of what's going on right now. Because as it stands, the hospital, the hospital is in a rough spot. Our cure rate right now is 35%. That's, that's bad. Oh, and we're also broke. Oh boy. So, uh, Augustus Lavender from Holistic sent us a letter. He expresses his thanks and says, the nature's miracle grow is free of charge. Wait, oh. Man, these waiting times are kind of rough, huh? We got nine people waiting there for that GP. 11, we got nine, six, seven, eight. Not great. That's, that's not great, but I mean, hopefully it'll improve a little bit. Uh, we will go ahead though and set up some uh, upgrades for things with like the easy scan. Let's upgrade the extractor pen as well. We'll upgrade the dehumifier. We can not upgrade you any further. We can upgrade the deluxe alux as well, which is a lot of money. We're spending a lot of money in upgrades. Uh, we'll get the patient to wait for that. What do you want me to uh, cure 40 patients? Sure. I'm sure we can do that. We've also unlocked uh, X-Ray, which is pretty cool. So, oh boy. That's, um, hmm. Let's get the Mega Scan, I guess. We'll start that project. Seems like a uh, fair enough thing to do. And I guess we should have a look at getting our hands on an injection room. Since that seems to be a thing people want, it, I don't know if it needs to be this size, does it? No, it doesn't. It, it can be smaller, but I think, I think, I think it's going to be this size just so it matches everything else we have going on here. So we'll do a door right in the middle. The jab math. This thing looks terrifying. That looks terrifying. I have a phobia of needles. This, that, if I had to go in and like, Lie, lie in that kind of machine to get an injection. I would probably just keel over. I, I would just look at it and collapse. And then they'd probably give me the... Uh, uh, honestly, that would be, that'd be the best thing. You know, save up all like the, the booster shots and all the things, that, like the injections you might need throughout like an ent entire year. And then go in for a day and be like, all right, you know, you got me for two hours, knock me out and just... Just stab me with, with everything I need and, and I'll be on my way. I genuinely, not even kidding, I, I genuinely would, would happily do it. Just, you know, wait, brain jar. Ooh. Interesting. There's also a lot of posters that I kind of want. I feel like they'd be, they'd be good to have too, to put a bit of variety into all of the rooms. We also got some, some canvases too. So let's go ahead and unlock those because those are going to be great, I think. Uh, how much have I got? 325. I want the pug canvas. I do, I do want that. That's, that's quite nice. We've got some drawings as well, which I love. We've got a clock. We've got probably not much else we can get our hands on. We've also got like three promotions to deal with. Let me pause for a second. I'm getting slightly distracted here. Um, we'll put that by the door. We'll put some drawings, I guess, there. And I want, 
I want the dog canvas. Look at him. Look at him. That that would make it much easier to get the injection. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but anyway, we have that thing. We need a nurse for it. So let's go ahead and hire Walter Vac. Look at that mustache. Jock Fuddle, though. Jock Fuddle. We're, we're going to hire you, mate. That's what we're going to do. And uh, we're going to say that you are... Let me see. So this is a treatment room, isn't it? So I guess you guys with, with treatment can also work in the injection room. And that'll be fine. So Jock Fuddle, mate, we need to train you in treatment. And we'll have one of our existing doctors do it because that's probably going to be fair enough. So we'll get that out of the way. And then this room will be a thing. So that's good. We'll, we'll have the injection room. People can stop being sent home because of it. And, uh, well, because of us not having it. And hopefully, you know, we can get better at not killing people. The sheer number of people that need to see a GP in this hospital is actually kind of nuts. Genuinely. Genuinely kind of nuts. I'm wondering if we should maybe get a bunch more GP's offices. Because, I mean, we could put a bunch of them over here and it'd be great. I just, I just don't know that I want to. To be honest with you, I just, I just don't. We've also got a bit of a queue for the uh, general diagnosis as well. We've also got a bunch of garbage over here too. So, let me go ahead and get a couple of trash cans. I, I think we're going to need those. So, one there and one like there. It's not quite exactly right in the middle. There we go. So, a couple of those will be fine. We could do a couple of benches here too. So, we'll do one there. And then we'll do one there. Because that will be against whatever wall we build. Uh, next to it. We'll do some, like, machines as well. Uh, we'll do, I guess, some plants to make the place kind of nice down there as well. And that should be fine. So that'll give people more space to sit. They can put their garbage in the bin. That's great. It's kind of what we want. We've also got a bunch of promotions lined up as well. We have the mega scan. Oh my god. We have a lot going on right now. We seriously have a lot going on. Um... Let's upgrade chromotherapy while we're here. And let's 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 get some GP's offices. This is this is nuts that we need to do this. But it's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna do it. I, I am gonna keep these rooms smaller than the ones next to them. And we'll do this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get I'm not gonna be able to get a, a fourth one along this wall, am I? No. That's okay. We'll do three of them. We'll grab another bathroom and we'll put it there. And that'll be fine. I, I think that's okay. It's very tempting to put more GP's offices on this side of the uh, of the place as well. And I might do it. Honestly. I, I really might. And I, I think I will. Just because there's no way that an extra six GP's offices will somehow not be enough. That might be famous last words, but there's there's no way. There is no way. And uh, what we can also do is grab another staff room as well. Uh, copy that, and we'll throw it down into that corner right there. So that gives us a lot of space to work with. That gives us so much space to work with. And I'm kind of looking forward to working with it as well. So let's, let's do some stuff. We'll do the essentials. We're going to need some heating. So, radiator right there, and uh, we'll do a radiator right there as well. We'll do one there, and we'll do one there. And that should be, it's, it's a little cold in the middle, but whatever. I've made lasagna before, it's always cold in the middle. This, this seems like it'll work. This seems like a lot of seating, and a lot of GP's offices, and the fact that I'm about to hire four, six more doctors is... A little bit nuts, but that's probably fair enough. And one of them is Ursula Thwackhammer. What a name. And then Tex Brick. You go you go from Thwackhammer to Brick. I love this game. I love it. I really do. I, I freaking love this game, man. It's it's ridiculous. It is just ridiculous. Um Right. We need to turn off uh 
all of this for all of you. And we need to um, get you trained, I guess, is, is what we need to do. So we'll train you in general practice, as we generally do. And uh, we'll say, wait, who are we looking for here? Oh, God. I, I think I'm assuming it was it was you guys with no training right there. So we'll do that and we'll have um, We can't afford a guest to do it. So we're gonna slow down general practice across the entire Hospital for a bit, but Should be fine There is there is no way there is absolutely no way That this won't eventually help There just isn't there's no way That this isn't gonna be benefit the hospital well this is good news we've trained 20 staff we have generated 4,000 research we need to cure nine more patients and our cure rate is 75 percent which is honestly better than it has been people are still dying i mean you can hear that they're still dying but that is a better cure rate than we've had which i'm okay with so no i'm not, I'm not okay with people like dropping dead but that cure rate I'll take that. I'm also going to put some bins in here because we absolutely urgently need them. Uh, so we'll put quite a few of them in here, I think, just to try and stop people from making the place an absolute mess. And as for rewards, well, we're not getting no deaths, but that's actually the only one that we didn't get. So I'm actually kind of okay with that. That's, that's, that's actually not bad. So that's great. Uh, we also have no queues down here right now. We have a queue in that GP's office and that one, but it seems that like the GP's offices are doing better, which is good. So we have that going for us and uh, we'll go for psychiatry two for you. We'll have a guest trainer come in to deal with that. We have more mechanics being taught down there as well. Let's see, what are you very unhappy and threatening to leave? Ugly environment, underpaid and desperate for the toilet. Oh, we did the thing. Oh man, we got the server, we got drug mixer too. Beautiful. Beautiful. What do you want? They have 90 de okay, so uh Arthur de la Creme. He's not happy. He's 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 not he is not happy. Um so he is horribly paid. Let's let's improve his pay quite considerably. Uh in fact. Let me improve the pay of all of my janitors. Not that I think I can necessarily afford it, but I think it will be helpful because they are working in, uh, I mean, it's you especially. They're in a bit of a nightmare environment. Let's, let's, let's be honest. Um, you also need training. Let's be honest. Let's, let's give you emotional intelligence. That might actually come in kind of useful. To be honest, it's, I mean, his current happiness is, is shooting up, so he's fine. Okay, we need two more GPs, is what we need. So let's get Joey Mackerel, and uh, put Joey Mackerel in there. And let's get Lando Pungent. That's, that's a name, is what it is. Um, so he can work in there. We'll set them both up to work only in the GP's office so lando and joey both need some training so we want general practice one and we want um joey lando the trainer can be dr thomas debauchery and that'll be fine that'll slow things down a little bit but hopefully not too much general diagnosis has taken a bit of a beating in terms of how many people are waiting for it but the GP's offices have certainly helped to, well, these new ones have certainly helped to bring the queues down a little bit, which I'm not going to complain about. We got that going for us. Let's, let's bring that salary up a little bit more. Let's bring yours up a little bit more too. I'm, I'm thinking we're starting to be able to afford to like really, you know, push the, the salaries a little bit. I'm hoping that we can, we can do that a little bit. I'm also thinking that psychiatry is still having a bit of a struggle here. Admittedly, you know, we have two of them being taught. I think that's psychiatry too, so that is going to slow it down a bit. What do we got here? Research complete. Okay. Let's, let's keep going at this. 
Because here's the thing, right? I can I can obviously research this stuff in later hospitals, but while we're here, we might as well. That that just seems like it would make sense. Also, I want to edit this because isn't this the room where the is this where we have the server? It is. What does this do? One percent research power. Okay. I mean, I don't I don't see why not. It's it's. I mean, if, so if I how much is this? Ten thousand. So if I was to fill a room with these, that that could be useful, I feel. I feel like a room of servers would be kind of useful. Uh, let's move this as well, just so it's sort of over there. So I don't I don't really know what the boost is gonna be in this room, but I I don't really mind either. So we'll do that. Uh, can you be closer? Yes, no, it's difficult to tell. Um, we'll do that. There we go. Yeah, those that needs moved. You're you're not in the right place at all. You need to be there, 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 uh, there. Oh no, I had it. Now, oh. there we go. All right. So, I don't know what the boost is in this room at all. Does it tell me? No. Oh well. That's that's fine. It's, it, we have a bit of a boost. What, you, wait. What, he just, what, what's in that server? Oh, it is actually like a server. I looked like it might've been something else. Oh, don't kick it. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. I have accidentally years ago when I had my, so my, my PCs are both under my desk at the moment, but my desk is built in such a way that there's like, there's, there's the legs on the outside. Then there's the PCs. Then there's more like, legs and then you kind of have the space in the middle where i like tuck my own legs under um so i can't like kick my pcs no matter how hard how hard i turn around i didn't always have that but years and years ago i um i don't know what i was doing but i like turned really quickly in my chair and like my legs swung around in such a way that i just like whacked into my uh pc and it never worked again. It's it's interesting that the Q issue seems to have moved on and it's now pretty much exclusively with general diagnosis. So let's go ahead and buy this and let's go ahead and do some stuff. So I'm gonna copy general diagnosis and I'm gonna put it there and we'll approve it. We will copy it again. We'll put it there, we'll approve it. And we'll copy it again. We'll put it there and we'll approve it. And then we're going to come over this way. We're going to grab that staff room. We're going to copy the staff room and we'll put it in between them. So we have sort of a similar pattern on this side, right? Uh, we have, you know, staff room there. We have general diagnosis here. So it's fine. Same pattern. What I'm then thinking we're going to do is the same pattern again. But this time with psychiatry. So the same pattern on this side, but with psychiatry this time. So you go there. Then we'll do another one right about there. And we'll do another one right about there. And this time we'll grab... Well, I guess... Uh, yeah, we will grab a staff room. We're going to kind of mirror it, I guess. Even though we probably should put some bathrooms over there. But that's fine. So we'll do that. Then we'll grab a, some toilets and we'll put some toilets there. We will also go ahead and copy you again and put some toilets opposite the doors right there. So we're pretty much going to have the same layout, which is fine. We just need to hire, what's that, three more nurses and three more doctors. So, <laughs> sure. Let's get uh, Gilbert Pickles. Interesting, interesting name. Uh, Gilbert Pickles, Jade Roadkill, sure, and Victoria Windmill. So you three are hired. Uh, we're going to go and say that jobs-wise, you are all going to do nothing. And then when you get trained in uh, psychiatry, you can go and do that. Speaking of training, psychiatry, uh... And we're going to need to train Gilbert and Jade. And we'll have you do it. 
I guess. We, we might as well. So we'll get that out of the way. They can go do training. And then in terms of hiring nurses, we'll get Dickie Fox. We will get Jessica... Be no, wait. Cuthbert McBoatface, obviously. And uh, Timmy Studmuffin. That's, that's, that's the way we're... <laughs> this game. This game, man. Uh, let's see. Then you guys are only going to be doing general diagnosis is what you're going to be doing. So take off all of those. And uh, we need to get you three trained in general diagnosis as well. So diagnostics, we'll have you do the training and we will have uh, Nurse McBoatface and Nurse Studmuffin uh, attend that bit of training. So that will hopefully help with a lot of the issues that we're having. Okay, so some of the new psychiatry rooms are up and running. Uh, a lot of these ones up here are up and running as well, so hopefully we're going to see things get a little bit better. Uh, we'll also go ahead and promote you like so. We get that ready to be upgraded. I did have to build a new pharmacy because the one up here is starting to see some queues. And uh, coming down here, do we have more upgrades? We can upgrade you. We can not upgrade you. We have probably got more things we can upgrade. E Extract a pan can be upgraded, of course. You can be upgraded, which is going to be necessary uh you're already upgraded which is fine okay i mean we're mostly doing okay we're not doing great in terms of money but we're mostly doing okay and in terms of training i mean how many people have we got can take general practice three we have a lot so my gps eventually are just gonna do great is is what they're gonna do it's gonna take a bit of time but I'm sure eventually they'll do great. I'm also wondering, are we still... We are not still training in... In in in, in this. Do we not have a doctor that can do that right now? I feel like we should. We did get enough doctors, didn't we? I'm sure it's fine. I, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Uh, staff training, what is this? Training my... I don't know. We're not training that. Um... What have we got here? Diagnostic. Okay, we can we can maybe train that. So diagnostics two. We have a couple of people that can do it, and we'll bring in a guest and we'll get it done. So that will help general diagnosis be better. Pharmacy management training has just been done, which means both pharmacies will be up and running. So all in all, I mean, I can't really complain about this hospital. Like research is really quick which is great i could make it quicker i absolutely could we could build another research room uh, and maybe like over here for example which i don't think we have the money for but it would be nice to do it anyway i think that's probably gonna do us for this particular hospital for now i i would like to come back to this one because there's so much more room left to build and i think that'd be really cool to be honest, I'm really liking Mitten University. It's kind of an interesting little challenge. So we're definitely going to come back to it. But I think what we might do in the next episode is check out some of those timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly timey-wimey hospitals, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm probably going to, like, go and make another cup of tea and then get old Doctor Who with it in Two Point Hospital. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.